Hey, if you're looking for some cabin, fort, treehouse, and tiny house ideas, check out my book, Humble Home Simple Shacks, on Amazon.com. Hey, I'm Derek Dietrichson from RelaxShacks.com here in uh, the northernmost part of Vermont where Tiny House Summer Camp 2 is going to be taking place. Number one was a blast and we had so many people ask if we'd do it again. Hence, part two, two. So let's take a trip inside my cabin, not complete, but this is one of my brother and I started building. Uh, Dustin, my brother, Dr. Demolition, started building when I was 21, 22, just hauling recycled materials back in the woods. I'm not sure if you really see anything in here and uh, just hunting and picking and kind of making things up as we went along. The result is a, uh, is a cabin that's kind of different, otherworldly, redneckish, but fun. We love it. So this is kind of the rain room in case during the workshop we have to meet inside. Um, we got this wood stove. There's a story behind everything here, and there's a lot to be done still. For example, we're going to have a uh, heat shield back here we're going to install. Don't worry, I don't want cedar walls and a raging fire. But uh, recycled window from Craigslist. Let's see. You know, wood stove has quite the the run and the flu to maximize the radiant heat from it. Works pretty well. But as we go along, I'm just going to kind of narrate as I show you things. You know, furniture found on the side of the road. This used to be in the gas station, the uh, repair shop waiting room. Uh, that I frequented in the town I lived in before they sold the place. They were curbing it and said I could have it. This I found at a yard sale, 20 bucks. It still has the tags and warranty inside, an old lane cedar chest, a bunch of yard sale lamps, no, not a bong. Everyone always thinks that when they see my old Vermont cabin video. Um, even the decorations plant found on the side of the road. These two chairs, my brother and I, since as far back as we can remember, my grandparents were now deceased growing up. We would uh, eat cereal and watch cartoons in these chairs. So when they were Moving out of their house and things were getting tossed, we saved these and now they kind of live on in the woods. Some of you know how I just love lanterns. In fact, at Tiny House Summer Camp 2, aside from building many things, tiny house, tree house, or cabin, uh, we're having the Lit by Lanterns Folk Fest or Live Acoustic uh, Music Fest with recycled materials and a pine grove. We'll be building a funky, funky stage, letting our artists that are uh, attending do their thing with sharpies and paint and just to make it as crazy as possible that backdrop stage and as the name implies the whole stage will be in the woods lit by funky lanterns which our guests will be asked to bring so uh, right now the ceiling is only it's a seasonal cabin so this is very unconventional I know it's just metal roofing believe it or not we just stayed here last night it is uh, April in Vermont and last night was 26 degrees. We stayed here and this thing roasted the cabin. Even with no insulation, this overheated it. I went to bed in just a t-shirt and boxers. It was so dang hot. Uh, here's a ladder that was my great grandfather's. Never got to meet him. Passed on to my grandfather, who was not deceased. And when we cleared out the house, it was being chucked. I said, I'll keep that. Old wooden ladder, which goes up to a micro sleep loft of sorts. Not much room up there, but there is some. Uh, Maybe about three and a half feet clearance if I had to take a guess. The whole ceiling here I think is about 11 feet, the peak. And the whole thing was built, as you can see, there's the repetition, one, two, three. It was all panelized, built with uh, two by threes and one bys down in Massachusetts where I live. And at the time I had a station wagon. It fit in the back of that station wagon, these pieces four by eight feet. And we panelized all the wall pieces and came up here and one weekend all the walls went up. Another weekend we put the roof up, all the rafters. It worked out really well. I'm a big fan of the panelized stuff, Jeff, uh, Jeff Melstein from the 70s. Here's a couch, uh, Christmases at my grandmother's. She was super friendly, would give us the uh, bedroom sustain and she would crash on the couch on their porch. And this is the couch, an old mid-century modern couch that's beat the heck. If it were in great condition, it might actually be worth something. All the windows found on the side of the road. Stove run, runs on propane, bought from a neighbor, 50 bucks. I just put in this hanging chair recently. I got an Ocean State job, uh, Ocean State job lot for 25 bucks. Couldn't pass it up. One of my neighbors up here getting rid of that chair. I grabbed it. Another one of these here. 
Don't worry, I'll give you a sweeping panorama of this place. Uh, I don't know where the heck, I think my aunt gave us this table, an old kitchen table. Chairs, side of the road. Little table under there built from cedar scraps. Another chair built with scraps. This is a Murphy bed here with a dart board from a churchyard sale. Uh, this folds down, there's a bed there. This used to be our heat source. Yeah, it's kind of buried. It's a Nordic stove, gravity fed. Works really well. We don't have a bathroom enclosed yet, so we have an outhouse on the trail, but this is the first weekend where we've been using this composting toilet up here, which even though it's in the room we're sleeping in, it doesn't stink, it works really well. What we're gonna do is this used to be a deck back here, or it is a deck. We might enclose that and make that the bathroom through this door. Plenty of storage. I'm gonna quicken the pace here before my camera runs out of batteries. Here's kind of the room, again, if it rains, where we all meet and hang out for tiny house summer camp. We got a field people can camp out in, and many other cabins and a tree house on the property people can stay in. Up here, galley-like staircase. More windows from a dumpster. A woman was remodeling, I stopped to ask. They're like almost six feet tall, storm windows. Um, there, the mice got to this recently. We thought we got rid of the mice, but there's a few there. I gotta fix that chair, because that was my old grandfather's uh, Favorite chair, there's just some stuffing taken out of it. Aside from that, I don't see any evidence of mice though, but it is the wood, so we just clean the heck out of the place each time we come up. So this is just the one pitch roof loft, 10 by 10 feet, kind of storage too. Pretty cool view of the woods down below. At night, I was sleeping up here last night, you can look up and just see the stars. It's one of the higher ranked or better night skies in the US. You can see there's some snow in the woods too, so it's still very cold up here in Vermont. But come workshop time, it shall not be. If I have anything to say about it. So as I jump down from the loft again, I'll just show you a little more. It's, uh, let's see, 16 feet the addition, 26 feet long by 10 feet, then it widens to 12 feet. So we have, you know, the little sleeping lofts and all that. Two of them, so to add to the square footage. All said and done, technically it's uh, under 300 square feet. And uh, below us, there's another sleeping quarter. Quarter's actually under that floor there. Because we're all built on stilts, by the way. We call that space down there, the coffin. Now you pretty much have it. Again, I'm Derek Diedrichson for RelaxShacks.com. If you want to sign up for a workshop and stay here and in some of the other cabins, RelaxShacks.com, it will sell out. So check that out soon. In this, the year 2014, by the way. And we'll probably have more of them. All right, see ya.